Manifestation can be boiled down to one main question. What do you most strongly believe to be true about yourself? Whether you realize it or not, your belief system is responsible for creating every aspect of your world. Growing up closeted, I was often depressed, apathetic towards things, no real sense of motivation or self-worth, viewed myself as a victim and life as a struggle, constantly saying, ah, oh, fuck my wife. No, seriously, can someone take care of that for me? It wasn't until I shifted my belief system that I saw a world full of opportunity and excitement. Recently, I launched a pre-workout protein combo supplement, Preteen. The tagline, who's ready to put their mouth all over this preteen? Wasn't received well. Opened up a store selling bundles of sticks. Faggots, faggots. Getting attacked for that too. I can't win with you people. That feeling of unworthiness can derail your momentum towards the manifestation. So it's important to remember that your past is only an illusion. Everything exists here and now. We're constantly shifting through infinite parallel versions of ourselves, each one with no real connection to the last. I'm broke, I'm a loser, I'm depressed, I've always been a failure. You're creating that continuity right now and keeping that story alive. Have a clear vision of the version of you that you prefer to be and mimic that person's thoughts, feelings, and behavior in every way. Really feel and believe that you're already that person in that ideal reality. Get so close to the ideal version of you that needs to take out a fucking restraining order. You don't need to put in effort to manifest what you want. You just need to shift into the frequency of that desired reality. And once you shift into that frequency, the physical world, which is only a mirror, has no choice but to reflect back to you all of the manifestations that correspond to that vibration. It's physics. That's the secret. That's the truth about how the universe works. Nothing is fixed. Nothing is solid. It's just reflecting back what you most strongly believe to be true about yourself now. That's what I call music.